Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brennan, also known as Bremet, and welcome to another StarCraft II replay. This time we have two Protoss players facing off here. They're on the map Neo Planet S. So spawning up here in the top right hand corner is our blue Protoss player who is Del King. And down here in the bottom left hand corner spawning as our red Protoss player is Elfie. Um, Elfie, I know, has done very well in tournaments, so I'm very interested in seeing what he does here. This is, as far as I know, a ladder game. I did not see it attached to any tournaments or anything like this. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but again, I think this is just a ladder game uh, just uploaded. And um, again, yeah, they're here on Neo Planet S. Both of them just throwing down their nine pylons, doing standard Protoss openings. Nothing weird here just yet. Uh, I would not expect there to be anything strange, but I'm interested to see what's coming out of both of these players. Again, like I said, Elfie, I've seen a lot of him. Del King, I've seen some of his replays before, uh, but Elfie is definitely a very talented player and has done very good for himself in tournaments, so I'm interested in seeing what he's going to pull out here. Is it just going to be some sort of standard play? Or are we going to see something really crazy from him? Oh, we have a gateway going down as well. This is just a standard gateway as well. Both of them putting down in the same location, nothing too crazy at the moment. And... Um, He's rallying somewhere weird here, but we do have, again, just completely copying each other's builds. We have two assimilators down. Each one of them is literally mirroring each other. If you could just mirror this any better, I don't know how you could. Uh, it's just lining up um, at the same timings. They're both doing the same thing, both sending out the scout at the same time. Oh, no, he's not actually sending out a scout. We do see this pylon going down here, so an additional pylon. This going down here, scouting for any sort of proxy pylons, some sort of weird play if Del King was trying to throw down some sort of early pylons uh, he would be able to spot that there but he does notice that nothing's being sent down here so he is going to go ahead and scout across the map here see if he can find anything from Del King try to spot out what build exactly he's trying to go for here and if we look up here in Del King's base again he is throwing down a cybernetics core as well as a second gas we're seeing the same thing exactly from Elfie his assimilator was finished a little earlier he only has two probes on here so he pulled one probe out of this one I believe it had three three mining but he got one out of there so now he has only two probes on each one of those cybernetics core here as well and Elfie pops in that scout looking around the base seeing if he can spot anything from Del King he just does only sees a uh, standard opening nothing too crazy here yet uh, although Del King we see like I said over here we only see two probes and okay now it's three probes mining so we have three probes mining in each assimilator here. We also have this zealot coming out. He's going to be going around. Might be able to get a probe kill there. Uh, but he, Elfie, looks like he's just going to be able to get out of there very quickly with his probe and have no damage done to him. So both players going for a pretty standard safe opening. No sort of early expands or anything like this. They're just both trying to get a secure opening. They'll be able to be fairly defensive at this point. Uh, both of them are... It looks like just going to have equivalent units, so you really won't have to worry about any sort of early pressure from either of the two sides. Although we do have a sentry here as opposed to a stalker over here, but again, nothing too major. And Del King is throwing down his expansion at the same time Elfie throws down his expansion. Again, identical builds here. So this game does look as if it's going to be in for the long run. Um, I don't think we're going to see any sort of fast game here because, again, they're just copying each other's builds. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a drawn out game and we'll have to see if any of them make any sort of tech switches. Is one going to go for Robo whereas the other one goes for Stargate? I don't know. We're going to have to really see there. Um, it, I think it's just really going to be up to what they're going to do in the later game as again at this point they're just pretty much doing identical things. So we have the two gateways. Again three gateways here though. So a little bit of switching up there. Both of them almost have their research finished. And uh, if we look up here, we will see that both of them are almost finished their research. Del King will finish slightly earlier than Elfie. Uh, Robao facility coming down here and a Stargate coming down for Del King. So there we go. There's a switch up in tech. We'll see a Stargate here where, again, as, as opposed to a Stargate, we'll instead see a Robo being thrown down here. Uh, and we're also seeing a Forge being thrown down fairly early early this might be some sort of early upgrades he's trying to do transferring the probes down here are going to start getting that upgraded there um elfie has not put his units down here which is perfectly fine but kind of interested in seeing how that will work we do see some sort of attack coming on up here we do see this here we go phoenix popping in here that sentry is going to be able to spawn that 
uh, hallucinated phoenix, which is going to be able to head in and scout out a lot of Delkin's base, see a lot of different things there, uh, and get complete overview of exactly what Del King's doing. I think if we switch to Elfie's view here, we're going to see that, yes, he did see absolutely everything, so he knows he's going for Stargate play and everything like that. So completely aware of everything that's going on here. And destroying those rocks there. And we do see a hallucinated phoenix here from Del King as well. So he's going to be looking around, seeing if he can spot anything as well. Elfie just have moving his army, won't be able to kill off this probe just in time, but we'll be able to scout it with the Observer, see it's coming along. We also see that these two Stargates are coming along behind this Robo. This Robo, um, we saw come down a little earlier. It might just be for Observers, and he's going to go for some Stargate heavy play. We do see one uh, Stargate here uh, for... Del King, as well as a Twilight Council, and two additional gateways. So now we have a total of four gateways here. Uh, and if we look over here, I believe he's only on three gateways. And he's going to start pumping out these Phoenix here. So he might try to do some early aggression with taking down, or not exactly early aggression, but trying to head in here and take down as many probes as possible, causing a lot of economic damage. Uh, or he's just going to keep it with his army. But I would suspect that he would go ahead and try to cause as much damage to the economy as possible. Elfie's sitting on a pretty small army here, only two sentries, a uh, mothership core, and a zealot, which would be pretty weak right now if Del King decided to poke in here. Those sentries would be able to put down a few force fields. They have a little bit of energy, but nothing too much that would cause too much damage or anything that would um, really push Del King back. So if Del King decided to push in now, he would be able to do a lot of damage. He's sending out a probe now, which might indicate... Let's see where that's rallied. Yeah, he is throwing down a proxy pile in here, so he might try some early aggression. He's also heading here to third gate, third base. Um, he's probably going to try putting down another proxy pile and scouting if there is a third base there. This army sent out here a bunch of phoenixes for Elfie. We're going to have to see if what he tries to do here. Del King, I think, is might be heading out. Again, we see this early pile in here. He might be heading out for some aggression. Stalker's pulled back, and... Um, he might be able to get a few kills here, but Elfie looks like he might be able to get quite a few units killed here, warping in even more Stalkers. Might be able to get a few more kills, lifting up one of those Stalkers, it seems. And uh, if we look there, in units killed, only a total of three units killed, uh, or three workers killed for Elfie there, so nothing too major was done in that attack. And... Um, Again, we're just going to keep looking around. He's he's moving around his Phoenix, keeping them scouted, very active, lifting up occasional units. He might be able to pick off a Mothership Core here, which could be huge, and that Mothership Core does actually go down. He is warping in an Archon now as well. Has a few High Templars out on the field. He's probably going to start rebuilding that Mothership Core. And if we look down here, he has another pylon coming down here for Del King. So Del King's going to be able to probably, again, I... I would suspect he's going to start moving out here. He is taking a third base a little earlier than Elfie. Elfie's staying back in his base. He does have Void Rays coming out now, and uh, as well as charge and weapon upgrades going on. So he's going to sit here at the front base, in front of his base, keep that defended. Uh, Phoenix still poking around, seeing if they can find any sort of loose probes anywhere. And Del King pushing in here. If we actually look, he has, again, those two proxy pylons, though they're not very forward placed. He might use his probe to place a pylon more up here when he's actually doing the attack. He is warping in a few more units. The Phoenix do spot this, though. So Elfie's very aware of this happening right now. He's going to warp in a bunch of units. He knows what's coming. He has a bunch of zealots here to tr try to defend. Uh, and again, quite a few Void Rays here, building up that army. Del King's going to be able to push in here. He has quite a few Stalkers, so he'd be able to deal quite a bit of damage. But with this new ability here, the Prismatic Alignment, he might be able to do a lot of damage to the Stalker army, and uh, as well as some of the Zealots and Archons and things. Del King will choose to push back here. Elfie has this very well-placed uh, uh, Observer, which is going to be able to scout this entire ramp, see anything that's moving by here, be able to be very aware of Del King's... Uh, pushing around. And again, these Phoenix being very active in scouting, causing a little bit of damage, poking here and there. Uh, so he's he's very aware of what's going on right now, and Elfie is now the one pushing out. He's going to be heading over here. He does not actually have any proxy pylons, but it doesn't look like he's going to need much of one. He has quite a bit of an army here. He'll be able to cause quite a bit of pressure. So I'm interested to see what's happening here. He's going to have to hallucinate Two Colossus here. This is going to be a scary army. Those two Colossus, again, he cannot actually see. He does not have any observer to tell that those are hallucinated. So those are big, scary-looking units. 
So this is going to look like a big scary army. He's going to start targeting down these Colossus and realize that they're all hallucinated. Elfie warping in Colossus of his own though. So they're going to go back and forth here. And it looks like Delphine's going to take a lot of damage from that. Able to push back Elfie here, but Elfie dealt quite a bit of damage as well. Lost all of his Void Rays? No, here's his Void Rays. So he has those two Void Rays as well as a Mothership Core. He, no, he will not lose that Mothership Core. So he dealt quite a bit of damage here, and Elfie warping in a bunch of units here. Del King might lose quite a bit of his army. He's continuing to push in here, warping as much as possible to keep his third base alive as well. He's just setting up his third base now, whereas Del King has had his third base up for quite some time. This uh, force from Del King is pushing up here. He might be able to cause a little bit of damage up here, but photon cannons as well as additional units are being warped in up here. He's dealing quite a bit of damage as photon cannons go down. This is a very small army for Elfie. Um, as compared to Del King, Del King might be pushing back now, might try to regroup and uh, create a few more units here. He's bringing in an observer of his own now, so he'll be able to spot uh, what Elfie exactly is doing. And again, Elfie has a much later third base, and we see that Del King has had his third base for quite some time now and has been able to mine from it. And in terms of minerals, let's see, he is, they're about even. Uh, Del King is slightly in the lead on terms of gas and minerals, slightly, but nothing too major. But again, he has had that base up for a lot earlier, which means he has a better economy by a slight bit, which might um, allow him to have a much bigger army a lot quicker here. And throwing down a good storm, causing a lot of damage there, and might be able to wipe out this army of Elfie very quickly, microing around some of the stalkers so they take some sort of tanking damage from those zealots. Able to wipe out probably all these Archons as well, and has a few Phoenix that are probably going to be wiped out. Those Phoenix doing as much damage as they can. Del King dealing a ton of damage here, though. Constantly warping in from this proxy pylon back here. And Elfie might be in a little bit of trouble constantly keeping up the uh, attack here. And if we look here, units killed. I mean, Elfie has a few more units killed, but Del King, they're, they're even in units killed. Uh, workers killed is what I meant to say. Uh, Del King has a slight lead there, but they're pretty even in terms of uh, units killed, economy again slight lead still for Del King. Uh, so Del King has did quite a bit of a push there, able to wipe out this pylon here. Spots it wipes out, hasn't killed off this pylon or this pylon just yet. Still keeping those up. Heading in here, he might be able to get a few probe kills, especially from this third base. Has two additional gateways warping in down here, uh, and those archons coming out. He might fly in here, be able to get some more kills. He also has Void Rays now from Del King coming out, so that will be able to assist him in the long run, getting in some of those Void Rays again, using that prismatic alignment to cause quite a bit of damage to the army. Elfie pushing out here, might be able to attack this third base. Uh, again, these two gateways are here as well as one Photon Cannon, but those won't be able to hold off for very long. Del King coming down here, might be able to engage this army. We'll have to see how well Elfie does against this army. Elfie pushing back quite a bit. I think Elfie had the slightly larger army, but now focusing down those Archons will lose one, maybe two Archons. And Del King pushing back his army fairly quickly here. Elfie has to pull back, might lose a free, few free Zealots there. And um, it looks like Elfie's just falling behind here. Del King has been losing his army as well, hasn't exactly had an overwhelmingly lead here. He hasn't had an overwhelming huge lead, but... It has gotten to the point where Del King, even though they both pull back from each other and try to regroup, build up their army again, Del King always has a slightly bigger advantage, it seems, in these battles as compared to Elfie, who, again, still is doing really well, but it looks like Del King has just been holding this lead for quite some time. Elfie's going to try pushing it uh, yet again, and a fourth base has been taken as well by Del King up here in the top, where there's no fourth base just yet, so if we look at economy, slight elite again, still for Del King, allowing him to build up an even bigger army. If we look here, Del King will engage here, quite a few zealots, some really good storms there across the entire army. Elfie is very weak units, they're quite a few alive, but again, they're so weak, it's not even worth it. And uh, he might end up losing one Archon here, he does end up losing one Archon, quite a few zealots might lose even more zealots constantly warping in more and more zealots del king looks to be holding on fairly well might lose the immortal here to the phoenix and constantly just finding this good concave where to hide causing a ton of damage there with uh, the archons losing yet another archon but bringing yet another in so del king is pushing him back slowly they just constantly keep re-engaging here uh, Del King seems to have a slightly bigger army and probably a little bit more powerful as well. Those Phoenix were very helpful in lifting up um, various different units and causing damage, killing off 
that Immortal there, which was dealing quite a bit of damage to those Archons. Alfie's just going to regroup here, going to get some more Archons. It seems like he's going very much for just Zealots and Archons uh, at this point, which is pretty good against what we see against Delking. But again, Delking's just doing really well, has a pretty big army here. Might be able to get some damage in with these Phoenix because these bases are completely unprotected aside from some Photon Cannons. Uh, this fourth base as well is protected, so he might not be able to get too much damage and might actually pick off that Void Ray there which is a really good pick there, a really good trade. He didn't even lose any of those Phoenix to that Void Ray. Alfie constantly warping in new units. It's just kind of sitting here, waiting for one of them to engage. And here we go, Alfie's going to push in. No, might lose an uh, Archon that went in ahead there. And Delkin's pushing out a lot of Zealots and just Archons pushing out here. Duh, who knows? These Archons are dealing a ton of damage to Delking's Zealots. And Delking is just going to lose a ton, a ton of units to these Archons here, they're so powerful. Yet a lot of Archons are now coming out for Delking, so Delking is gonna be able to push back this force yet again, might lose uh, quite a few, maybe even most of his Archons here. Gonna keep pushing in here, dealing a ton of damage to the Zealots. Delking is just gonna keep pushing and pushing. He has such a powerful army at this point that he's able to keep pushing forward. He's gonna pull back though. Those Zealots are gonna deal quite a bit of damage. And G comes out, so GG. And Delking is able to deal a lot of damage there, push him back. So congratulations to both players, especially Delking, who pulled off the win in this video. Uh, he did a really great play there. He was slightly ahead. We saw, again, identical builds at the very beginning. But Delking able to pull off additional bases and just keep pushing, always having that slight economic advantage, which allowed him to build up a bigger army and cause constant damage. So congratulations to Delking for winning this game. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video, favorite if you enjoyed it a lot, and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Uh, that'd be really great. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.